the most toy room we're gonna take a look at trick-or-treat studios very young michael myers mask it's halloween time folks and welcome to moe's toy room Hi everyone welcome to another edition of moe's toy room come from my room tours and today we're going to take a look at the very young the i mean really young Michael Myers mask. This would have been the mask that he would have wore when he uh, killed Judith Myers, his older sister, uh, in the house in the original Halloween franchise movie, the one that starred Jamie Lee Curtis in it, where it all started as a young boy. This would have been the mask that he would have wore. And the reason that I chose to do a review on this is because I looked on YouTube. There wasn't very many uh, reviews on it, so I wanted more insight as to what I was getting into before I purchased it. Um, because, yeah, it I know it looks simple, so maybe people passed on it because it wasn't the Michael Myers mask that you're used to seeing, but as a Michael Myers collector of masks and action figures and everything else, I had to have this in my collection. So I just went ahead and purchased this. The last time we went to the LA area, we went to Southgate, uh, California, and we went to Halloween Depot. And you can see on that video that I purchased it there and it was $20. I believe it was like $20. Very inexpensive, but something that I feel every Michael Myers fan would want. This is made by Trick or Treat Studios. There's not really much to it. Uh, if you look on the side right here, you can see that it does have a band uh, that holds this thing together. And I was always, always wondering because every time I seen it in photo on Trick or Treat Studios or whatever, they, they would just show it from this angle. They really wouldn't show up from anywhere else. So I wanted to get an insight on this. If you're wondering as to what Michael really looked like when he was young, it would have been more like this. So you could see that right there, um, how he would have looked. Um, and you can see the mask right there are almost identical. So I know this is very expensive now because it comes in a two-pack set with a grown Michael Myers. So people are paying ridiculous amounts of money for that one. But I, I think that this is the second series of this mask. I think there was another one where the has a slight different color change to it. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I'm, I'm almost for certain on that. I think I've seen two different variations of it. Uh, so I'm assuming that this would be the last one that is available. Uh, so anyway, this is what I was talking about. So you could see the Michael Myers right here, but on a lot of photos, they never show up from the side. So you can see it from the side right there. And then from the back as to how the back looked. So I was, I was on the fence because I didn't know the material of this. Like, you know, I'm like, is it like real plasticky? Is it going to break like really fast or what? But it's a very hard plastic uh, material, pretty thick. You could see that. So it looks like it really isn't going anywhere. And I'm like, well, how does this thing really hold up? And you can see right there, there's nothing in between here, nothing in between there. And I was always wondering about that. And it's being held by this. So if you look at the construction on the inside right there, you could see that as to how that looks. Um, but yeah, this would have been the mask that he would have wore uh, in the original when they found him on the sidewalk and he's holding the knife and they pull the mask off his head and they're like, Michael, Michael, Michael. And then the movie just starts. OK, but yeah, this would have been it. I, I had no idea that the nose was really that long. So, um, yeah, he must have been lying a whole time that he was a good kid because his nose grew. <laughs> no, I just inside joke folks <laughs> all right but anyway folks that's my review of michael myers mass so for some of you that are on the fence on it now you know exactly how big it is what it looks like um yeah everything that goes into it and this would have been the one that a young michael would have wore um if you're wondering uh yeah but there you have it and it's available now at trick or treat studios i think trick or treat studios has them in stock you can go on and look if not if you're in the la area take a look over at uh, halloween depot um they'll for sure have them because they had a whole lot of them 
I have not yet seen these at a Spirit Halloween or at a Party City. I have not seen them there. Uh, but I think they might be sold out on Big Bad Toy Store. They might be sold out. But if not, you could try Nightmare Toys might have them. They, they might be sold out, but especially this time. But you could go ahead and grab your some grab yourself one but they're very inexpensive um yeah i got I picked this one up i think it was 20 bucks so yeah they're out there folks all right so please like share subscribe hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video like this one hits follow us on instagram at mo's toys it's m-o-e-s-t-o-y-s mo's toys on instagram we're also on tiktok check us out there on tiktok uh mo's toy room and right here on youtube folks you guessed it we are mo's toy room so subscribe today so that way you don't miss another video coming your way we have been doing giveaways and all that throughout this channel in case you have not been paying attention to what's going on in here so you got to look at a lot of the toy hunts because that's usually where i'll display like a giveaway at the end or whatever um, we actually have a giveaway going on right now for a very limited edition uh, black panther figure that was given out only on marvel day um, that is available now on our giveaway so you could win that thing you got to head down into our uh, library check out one of the last toy hunts that we had it'll say toy hunt and it'll say giveaway and you watch that video it will show you how to enter for that um, Black Panther Funko Pop exclusive legacy one on Marvel Day but also we have another giveaway coming up uh, when we hit a thousand, we're very close, folks. We are giving away, listen to this, a Target, I think it's a Target exclusive, Black Series, Star Wars Black Series droids, Boba Fett. Okay, so a lot of people have been uh, DMing me and everything else throughout Instagram because I posted that on Instagram a few days ago and they are loving it and they can't wait for that one. So you might want to take you know, give us a chance, you know, give Mo's Toy Room a chance. There you go. That's a good hashtag. Give Mo's Toy Room a chance. So from Mo's Toy Room to yours, everyone, happy Halloween. Good night.